super. Got a whole bunch here, and I cannot use Blessed Hammer because of where I have to take on these hollow ones here. Luckily, Al Hazir is clean in the house. Uh, the hollow ones can also poison you. Uh, I, yeah. Lightning and Poison Guard, bring it. You will need it here because almost everything is one or the other. You can find beetles down here as well. I don't think I have yet, though. And it doesn't look like there's anything else here. Not even, oh, there is something over here with another hollow one. Die, hollow one. Now you'll learn Blessed Hammer, it goes right first. So if I'm to the, to the right of my enemies, it's not going to hit him. It'll spiral out and miss him entirely. So I always want to be on the left side of my enemy when I'm using the Blessed Hammer. So if you see me move over to the left side, that is why. Level 2. I think this only has two levels. And I don't think there's um, a particularly like tough enemy here. Ooh, the Berserkers! Do you have a fanatic? No, oh, champion. I'm always hoping for something else. A flawed ruby! Once again, the second level. Um, oh, I heard something else drop. Screw it. That's it, have a go! You, s you saw them all kind of go right there. A lot of uh, attack that I found really good with, um, with Blessed Hammer is to... What the hell? Spear cat with an actual spear! Blasphemy. Uh, what I've found is uh, I can use Blessed Hammer maybe once or twice, uh, then take a step and use it once or twice. It doesn't matter where you're standing. If you click on an enemy uh, while you have Blessed Hammer active, he will use it right then and there. doesn't matter where, like, you can't, you can't tell him to run up to the thing and then use it. You have to click, like, here, and then he'll move it there. If you, it, like, let's say that enemy was alive. And I, and I clicked on him with Blessed Hammer active, it would launch the hammer from where I'm standing right now. Makes sense. Not to me, it doesn't. But that's how it works. And you can see the this hammer spun around, around the hollow one. Didn't ever hit him. Aim on that. Sometimes it's bad. Oh, yes, 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 yes. 5% better chance of getting magic items. That's not very high. I'm still putting it on. Uh, I love the plus percentage to magic items. Uh, I swear that by that shit. And here's where Blessed Hammer is really awesome in situations like that. Just look at everything die around me. Thanks to my spinning hammers of doom. Yeah, see, look, they disappear right there. Didn't hit anything. That's just the how far out they go. That's their range. Still looking for that damn cube. Ah! I saw you, Hollow One. You cannot hide from me. A lot of times, they'll be arranged, these Hollow Ones, in a way that by the time you get to the first one, you'll notice the second one there. You, you want to just try to keep going. Short Staff. Cannot carry the Short Staff. Will you kill the last thing thing? Thank you. Yeah, here's the other one. Oh, blessed hammer. Can you drop a ring? I think that sounded like a ring. It was a ring. Could have been a gem now, actually. I think they actually have the same thing. Uh, what's on this short staff? Short staff of awesomeness. That's going to sell for max, I guarantee it. So, another 10,000 in my pocket. So, don't, you know, like I said, don't ever skip on those things just because they're not technically magic items. They still have stat bonuses, all skill bonuses on them. Check them. They've got more than plus one on anything. Keep it. Sell it. I'm starting to lose health. How dare you make me lose health? Some of these traps, they go off without you opening a chest. It sucks. Hey, die. I don't care if you got resurrected. You need to stay dead. Oh, apparently there was another one I didn't see there. Dead end, which leads to to level three. I didn't think there was a level three, but we've got so much more to explore on level two. Oh, sacred globe. I can't carry anymore. I really don't have room for that. 
that sacred globe is going to be awesome too. That probably will sell for max. I can't guarantee it though. All right, more enemies that will die by my blessed hammer. Spin around, kill him. Oh, it missed the hollow one somehow. Looks like it went right through him. That's the only bad thing is that it's hard to be pinpoint accurate with uh, with the blessed hammer. Accuracy is kind of a big issue. But when it comes to bosses, <laughs> no problem. Bosses will. Oh, and we've got a new spawner, the mummy sarcophagus. I want that to die more than I want the, the hollow one to die. In fact, let's start using this, and it should take out both. Actually, let's go over here and use it here. No, here. And I don't have any more, damn it. Kill the mummy sarcophagus! It's a Al Hazir, get over here and finish it off, please. Ah, it took forever. And as you can see, the the black little spiky thing goes under doors. Uh, yeah, those sarcophagus, the sarcophagi. Those things take forever to destroy sometimes. Ah, looks like we got more here. I don't have any mana left. I, I do eventually want to get something that gives me plus to mana now. Uh, well, like recharges mana, not permanent, you know, plus five to mana. That's not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for something like 5% uh, mana stolen per hit or plus three to mana with per kill, something like that. God, so many skeletons! Luckily, Blessed Hammer was able to do away with some of them. I can, nothing clears out a room, man. Nothing clears out a room. Get over there and finish those guys. Yeah, they'll, they'll come in bunches a lot. Uh, when you find champions, though, that's actually uh, one point where I died in a lag spike was when there were uh, four champion hollow ones. Like I said, hopefully that will not happen again to this time, because I don't want to die. Dying is bad. So I hear. I haven't heard anybody on the other side tell me good or bad, but I'm 90% sure that it's not good. We got one little spot over here to go, then we can head down to level 3. Damn it. Keep on running right through the poison! Ow. Damn lightning damage. Oh, and we have found the waypoint! Uh, normally that would be where I would stop at a waypoint, but no. There's nowhere I stop today. Today I want that damn cube. Uh, you have no idea how awesome that damn cube is. Ugh. Because right now my inventory is kind of overflowing. As you can see, I have some stuff here. Oh, I took an amulet. Yes! Yes, yes, yes. What do I got? Got replenished life, but I got prayer for that now. One more magic items, damn it. One more gold, I guess. That's kind of a bonus, but it is plus 40%. It's ridiculous. It's an awesome amulet. There is a quest. I forget where it, when it is. I think it's in Act 3. That uh, always gives you a gold, a uh, uh, yellow amulet. So if you if you need an amulet, you can farm there until you find something that, that you like. By farm, I mean uh, go back and kill that boss over and over and over again. It's definitely a boss that gives it to you. I don't remember if it's a you know end of the act boss or not, but definitely a boss that drops a yellow amulet every time. Get right in the middle. Launch my hammers of doom. Wait. Yeah, freaking spear cats with spears. It makes no sense. Uh, nothing. Uh, pylons, I don't think I really went over it. You can throw it and you can stab with it. Obviously, El Hazir is stabbing with it. God, I hope he's stabbing with it. Yeah, yeah, he's not using any. He's not throwing them. So, the quantity stays the same. Otherwise, you know, those would be gone by now. <laughs> he has attacked more than 46 times. I've never been a fan of throwing weapons in this game. I mean, they're temporary. Why would I put so much money into a temporary weapon? 
I, I just never understood that. And then, are there any... There's no trap ones! Awesome! They're, they're always hiding in that corner. And I do see a charm. Awesome. What does this charm give me? I want it now! Plus three to mana. That's crap. I'll sell it. But, um... Yeah, like I said, I, I'm looking for the, the recharging mana, not permanent higher mana. Man, I don't care about that. You know, if you give me the plus per kill, plus per hit, I can just spam <coughs> Blessed Hammer all day. Because the whole point is that it hits everything on screen. You, it, something usually kills. I mean, it does more damage than my regular attack when it hits. Oh, sweet. I leveled off, off of uh, Al Hazir. So if, if you guys weren't aware, weren't paying attention, or. Maybe I didn't need to say it. Uh, yes, you do uh, get experience from what your mercenary kills. Uh, that's obvious proof right there, because I didn't kill anything and I leveled up. And my strength is down when it's blue. Um, that's when you get bonuses to it based on items. So even though my strength did go down from the last time I leveled up, uh, my base strength, as it's called, uh, what it would be if it was white, is higher. Now I do need to use more of my skills, uh, like I said, I'll start using them uh, more often, I'm put one into Concentration, one into Blessed Hammer, and another one into Vigor. And now I am out of skills. That's it, I'm done. I, I can only use one at a time from now, and I've got to be very selective. I'm probably going to put most of it into Concentration, and then occasionally I'll put one into to Blessed Hammer if I'm feeling it's not doing enough damage. But usually Concentration is what I'm going to want to put it into. And I heard a couple gems drop here. Um, at least I think I heard gems. Sapphire! Ooh, Sacred Globe. Amethyst. All good. All good. More enemies? I thought we had killed everything, damn it. Kill everything while I continue looting. Oh, composite bow. Don't have room for it, really? Can I drop any of these? Fireball. Come on, man. What are you doing? Damn, he cleaned house. Uh, composite bow, I still want it. I'm looting here. Al Hazir. Seriously, thank you for your, for your for your efforts, but it's not needed at this time. Um, yes, I can make room for it. No, wait, no, I can't. I have to identify something. To throw this away and pick this up. There we go. Scroll of town portal. Nice. And let's continue on. Uh, this is, yeah, this part is, is kind of a, a big circle here. But, once we clear it out, we can head further on, and hopefully I can find that damn cube! Ah, uh, the cube. I love the cube! I'd have sex with it if it let me. I don't know what it would craft out of my dick, but... I've thought about it. Looks like the last thing that we can do is go down here, which is where the cube must be. I see the glowy chest. It's in there. I know it. I feel it in my bones. Everything must die. They're right over here. And okay, I'm done with Blessed Hammer. <laughs> I thought there were going to be more enemies. There were not. Ooh, a rune. An Eld rune. That, I believe, is the second um I can't care. Yeah, I don't have room for it. Is the second level of of runes. It goes L and then it goes Eld, if I remember correctly. So let's open this baby up, and in it we find the Heradric Cube. Oh, the cube! I love you, baby. Uh let's see here. I can drop that and make room for this Horadric Cube. Quest log. Okay. So I found the cube. Uh, still need to find the other stuff. But now it's time for some crafting. I'll, I'll do some a little bit of crafting for you guys. Uh, what I can do here. You right-click the cube. You put usually three things in the cube. Like three rejuvenation potions, let's say. 
and you hit transmute. And now I have a full rejuvenation potion. It heals 100% of my life and mana. It's the ultimate, oh shit, potion. Just, oh shit, I need something. Give me everything. I need it. And why I'm going to be keeping this in my inventory at all times. If you notice, the cube takes up four spots. Four little squares in my inventory. Yet inside it, there are 12 spots. It breaks the laws of physics, my cube. So let's pick up some of the things that I want here. I want this Eldrun. And I want this flawed topaz. I do also want the composite bow. Which I can't fit anywhere. Oh no, where am I going to fit it? Right in the cube. This two-handed sword. Oh no, it doesn't fit right in the cube. In the cube we go. And, yeah, I'm I'm done here. Let's move back to Mo Luca Lane so I can get more Cuban in. Um... You have quite a treasure there in that Herodric cube. According to Herodric lore, the cube can restore a Herodric staff. To do it, use the cube as you would a scroll. When the cube opens, place both pieces of the staff into it and use the cube's transmute power. You'll be pleased to know that the cube has other alchemical uses as well. Six gems plus one sword transmute into a socketed longsword. You may also transmute two quivers of crossbow bolts into one quiver of arrows, while two quivers of arrows yield one quiver of bolts. I must leave it to you to discover other formulae. And by leave it to me, he means look it up. Uh, most of the things that he told us are pretty much useless. Uh, but, uh, yes, he does identify everything in the cube as well. So this changes how I sell things just a little bit. Uh, these things weren't nearly as good as I thought. I did pick up a... Why did I pick that up? No, no, this is, this is what I was using instead of that. If you notice, it even sells for less than what I have. Uh, yeah, I can sell that. 10% chance to get better items. 7%. Damn you. Why do you give me the... Uh, I guess it's not worth the 3%. Uh, in order to open up the Heretic Cube to get your stuff, you can't do it in a town like that. I figured I'd do this real fast. Um, otherwise, I'd, you know, I'd be cutting out like 15 seconds worth of stuff here. Sell that. Sell that. Okay, we're done. Now, let's look at my stash. As you see, I got a ton of shit. Oh, mostly gems right now. Uh, for now, let's focus on... Let's focus on sapphires and amethysts. Give me as many amethysts as you can. And this is how you clear up room in your stash. I mean, look how full I was. I was actually dumping stuff that I eventually lost. Uh, you can't open up the cube from here and just pop them in like that. Three of the same kind of gems, the same condition, all chipped, form the next layer level of the gem. So we've got a sl flawed sapphire. I don't have any other sapphires, but that's how it's done. Let's do this again with the amethysts and then we find three flawed amethysts turn into a regular amethyst and all of a sudden if I equip this it gives me plus 18 defense plus 6 of strength plus 80 to attack rating I still however do not recommend using these you can do the same thing with the runes. Once you find three of them, you can put them all together. Uh, like I said, uh, like I showed before, uh, the rejuvenation potions uh, turn into full rejuvenation potions. Skulls work the same way. Uh, the runes just level up to the next one. Uh, what else are there? Oh, uh, Wurt's Leg. I don't think we're ready for Wurt's Leg yet. But that also can go into the cube. I will finish uh, upgrading all my gems. I don't think you guys really care how far up I go, but uh, I'm not going to use any of them until I get to the highest level, which is perfect. Um, so really, you won't you won't hear me talking about this that much until then. Like I said, this is always going to take up two spots in my inventory, uh, so I'm going to sell one of these. 
Um, I'm going to sell this Grand Charm. <laughs> and then... Um, I don't know. I guess I'll keep that there. And uh, hopefully this rest of my inventory can remain open from then on. As well as the queue. So that is actually going to do it for these parts of Let's Play Diablo 2. I have been Muller Scoob. I have been joined, as always, by my paladin and our newest friend, the awesome, prairific Al-Hazir. Hope you guys have enjoyed these parts. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.